Hey guys, I know it's crazy, right? I'm showing you my face for the first time on YouTube. I've never shown my face on YouTube just because I'm camera sharing that blink a lot, which I found myself to be very uncomfortable, even for you, the viewers will be seeing me doing this. But I just thought I'd take a risk and try this interaction thing directly. I've been doing videos behind the scene, just giving tutorials without even showing my face, but I just thought I'd do this for you guys. I haven't made a video in four months right now and i just got a message sent i think about two three days ago from this guy from states saying that he really liked my videos the smooth effect tutorial that i did was really helpful for them and he hopes i do more videos and i felt motivated that my videos are helping other people out there so i just thought i'd do more videos which would be helpful and if you have things that you'd like to learn from me, you just put them on the comment section from the videos that I'm from the video I'm going to upload right now. Okay, so we did a video uh, about a year ago about uh, doing a snoot editing in a snoot without taking a snoot like that snoot effect. Right now it's about in it's about 18k views, 18,000 views, which is surprisingly because my account is under. 1000 subscribers so you guys you should subscribe so that i just reached that 1000 mark because i'm not even there yet because having 18,000 views is crazy i know it's crazy so i just thought i'd just keep on trying this i'm not gonna be, i'm gonna be uncomfortable doing this talking to the camera but it's the pain you have to go through to make it so i just i'll just give it a try okay <laughs> Without wasting much of your time, today we're going to be editing this studio shoot that I did, Pink Background. Uh, I used two front lights, uh, one SK300 and one ED600 in front. Then in the back we have uh, a V850 which was given this yellow tint. This yellow tint. It was shot on a Nikon D800 with a 50mm. So I'm going to show you how I edited the background how I did my retouch, how I did my uh, even skin tone and how I, my secret for my highlights, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a secret that I, I used for my highlights, sorry for that. Just close that. And I'm gonna be giving an updated action pack to whatever I'm gonna be doing, because I'm gonna be using this action pack. I made this action pack personally and I'm giving it to you for free like i always do so let's get into this guys <laughs> it's been a while so let's see first thing first i uh, will select the ratio 4 by 5 because it's good for instagram so let's just copy that that your crop is not fitting just scratch it i think i showed that in one of my videos just straight your background like this very easy so we just select the rectangle tool there's a rectangle tool select where you want to stretch like this then control T in stretch a more thorough explained videos in one of my tutorials we can be going back and forth in your school and look for that tutorial just gonna try to remove some of the dirt but our action is gonna do most of it but I just want to remove most of it so basically the, I made new action for the background which is a bit easier to use but it's used the same strategy as before but this one is just a bit more advanced you're gonna see it when you download it so there's this action which is reaching all background over there that's the one we're gonna use to fix up the background it's gonna be really easy I'm gonna show you let's just try to clean up a bit you can see the background is really dirty very dirty but you know, see the magic happening. Okay, so we're just gonna click this action all backgrounds. You just press play. Just make sure there's one layer over here and press play. And just wait for the magic to happen. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. It's loading, it's loading. Okay, it's done done it's done most of the job but just just have to make sure i didn't cut out some of the pictures some of the parts you really want sometimes it does that it might cut out some of the parts 
for some of the hair but i think right now it did a really pretty good job it did a really pretty good job so what you're gonna do is just select the black brush and just brush the parts you want back like i want the shadows back like here I want the shadows back so i just brush where i want it to come back we need to cut some of the picture just use the brush to just bring it back okay just say just press command or control on windows you yeah, press command and just match the two layers so we're gonna do the action again but this time we're not gonna select we're not gonna select object we're gonna select surface play it's gonna do its whole thing just after that so that worked it's fast on bigger pieces man is a bit smaller it's a more cheap 2020 macbook uh, it's not that bad it's getting the work done okay it's done it's, it did its magic do you still even remember how did the background was but i think it did a really pretty good job cleaning up the background so i'm gonna be giving up this whole action bar that you're gonna use for my edits I'm not gonna be going step by step showing you how to clean the background. We're just gonna use this action bar. It will really, really help you out. So let's just make this layers and go to the retouching. So first thing first, we're gonna start just by removing the blemishes. Just removing the blemishes. Okay, let's I use this portilling brush just for the blemishes. Make sure you just a bit that maybe on the 50% of the hardness of the blemishes just wrap where the blemishes are just wrap click click where the blemish are just click click just that easy so also gonna fix up the hair you don't want those things which are hanging out there so you just try to remove as much as you can as much as you can those stray hair we don't want it just try to remove as much as you can like that it's that difficult that's pretty easy you know just try to remove all the stray hair i think we are really doing a decent job yeah we are, we are, we are coming to a great start as you can see uh, we've removed all the blemishes some of the stray hair. Did you know? Sorry. Yeah. Just here. 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 We just wanna leave it really, really clean. Really clean, 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 clean. Okay. So what you gonna do? Now it's up to the retouch. So I'm gonna use this ATD layer. I just written it ATD layer because I've been using a Canon ATD, but as I seen it, it works most people doing the camera. So I'm just gonna leave the ATD here. Uh, FS, FS for frequency operation. So they differ. The frequency operation they differ from from. From the length of the picture either the person is standing or it's a close-up or something like this so this one like this one just kneeling down i usually just choose the knee high sure it works perfect but if it doesn't just try the fs full body it's frequent separation full body so you just type in between the two but i'm just gonna use this one the knee high usually we're expecting for this kneeling down pictures so let's see how it works how it comes out if you want to know if it's not coming off really nice it will be a bit rough on the skin you will see it it's a bit rough but if it's working so the thing i usually do before i use my brush mostly the mixer brush i click to the side because most of the time it comes up comes out with this color maybe even black or green depending on the color you last use on your on your normal brush it just comes out there so i don't know why it does that so i just come here and click not on the picture just maybe on the side so that it doesn't affect my skin tone but you should check that before you use your brush so i just click on the side it's a habit okay so let's get into this uh 
and do the tutorial how to use the mixer brush in the settings you can just copy the settings as they are they are a bit different from my previous settings but they just do the job the same way but just make sure they're like this okay let's use the mixer brush so when you're using the mixer brush you don't just want to go on circles like this yeah it won't come out nice you use the sequence so it's back and forth back and forth back and forth back and forth back and it's like blending mixer brush blends everything i'm not i think i'm not liking i'm not liking this me i this defect from the me i'm not liking it so i'm just gonna delete this delete delete just delete this it's a bit rough as i told you you can see it it's a bit rough so let's use fs full body it's for frequent separation full body that's what you're gonna try to use because that one was coming out a bit rough on the skin so let's see how is this one so you want to go oh your second layer background layer please don't rename your layers these actions won't work if you rename your layers a bit different they won't work just leave it like that so that it works so let's do this oh i told you i just click on the side okay and i think yeah i'm feeling this one i'm feeling this one i'm feeling this one Not that trap on the skin. I like it. I like it. So you just want to go back and forth, back and forth. So what you're doing when using the mixer brush, you're just blending between the black part of the skin and the lighter part of the skin. Let me show you. Let's just put a black and white layer over here. Then you use the reds. This is just for example reasons. So what you're doing, see like this black part, this lighter part, you just mixing it together so that it becomes a bit even so that ah, sorry so this black part and the light part you're just doing like this is evening it out evening it out so that like here this is the black part this lighter part just keeping a blend between the two i did a video thorough explaining how i how you use the mixer brush it gives all the best result from all this frequency impression that I've used. I've used the Lasso 2, I've used uh, just the brush 2, but this one gives the best results. So I just turn off this layer. This was just for example reasons. Yeah. I think your picture is coming out really nice. Our retouch is coming out really nice. I'm liking it. I am. I am. So they just go here on the hair and just blend it to the skin tone. Let's blend it with the skin. Sorry. Yeah, like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Like this. Okay. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Okay, let's go to the rest of the body. Like this. That's good. That's good. That's good. I think it's coming out really nice. As I tell you, the mixer brush, you're just mixing the lighter part with the darker part just to create that blend, that nice blend. Let's do this. Okay. So you don't just want to go over the black part like this. It comes out really bad. You want to do it gradually like like this part here this part here you want to take the lighter part from under here and just push it up push it up push it up to the black part to the black part push it up to then you go ahead and just mix it up that on the middle much of the tap but I think you're getting it okay let's go here yeah. I think I have to do a video of show you how to lighten up lighten up knuckles and 
other dark spots and now people get really bored with those kind of stuff whenever someone has dark knuckles maybe dark armpits and you really want to fix that i think i have to make a video for that okay so we're gonna do this a slight of a retouch on the hair you don't have to overdo it but just try to do it on the lighter parts of the hair like that don't overdo it please it will look unnatural which is a secret which they probably use without telling me look at that look at that it's, it's looking nice it's looking nice okay so let's sharpen we just go on the last layer this gray layer and just go on the sharpness and just play guys i'm giving you this whole action bar for free for free imagine for free just like that just like that it just sharpens your picture like crazy okay so what you're gonna do is gonna make these layers this lighten up the eyes so this is ancient energy and i and teeth whitening you open up the folder go to the black part of the folder just click just zoom in select your white brush you want to brush the eyes the white part of the eyes part of the eyes yeah also works for the teeth same effect and if it's too much for you if they're too white for you just go up the folder and just reduce the opposite to your liking i'm gonna leave it maybe it's 80 percent it's fine for me okay let's go to the even skin tone even skin tone even skin tone i haven't given all this i'm gonna make i think i'm just gonna do a separate video explaining the whole thing but right now i'm just gonna use an action and i'm gonna give you that action so just go here click where is it light skin tone yeah this one for us this one is particularly for light skin tones but i will show you this other trick i use so i'm just gonna leave it if skin tone even skin tone i'm gonna tell you why it's labeled like it was labeled light skin tone but i'm gonna show you to do for different skin tones so <laughs> let's just play it uh, can commit comment because if I was not found, let's do a redo. I don't know why it does it that time. I don't know why it does it that sometimes. It says Photoshop doing Photoshop. Let's play it again. Yeah, boah. Worked. So it does select the skin tone on its own. You see that? Like the black parts are going. It does. But some it doesn't do it perfectly so you're gonna have to go follow along with your brush just a white brush and just go where it's missing like here <coughs> just follow along you don't have to color the whole skin tone like the eyes and stuff this skin gives an even skin tone you just follow along fix up where it's missed like when you're in a hurry you can just play it and just leave it like that but no one will really notice but i do but most of the people won't notice the difference if you just play it and leave it like that but i think this don't take much of your time just follow and just like that fix up it is a dramatic difference this stuff like that so now don't you, I'm gonna tell you why I had leveled the light skin to so because the gradient that I used for this action was just a lighter skin tone, but there are more of the just a gradient to make this even skin tone. So I'm gonna show you how to change into different skin tones. And I'm gonna give you the skin tones, who made the skin tone gradients. I'm gonna give this to you for free. So there are different gradients. For different skin tone so you just see which one are you liking see dark skin tone i don't know but <laughs> i think i'm just gonna do another video just for the skin for the skin look at that just like that so you choose the one you want one which you think you're you're feeling the one you think it goes with the skin tone that sh that person has 
No, it's a lot. It's a lot of them. So I'm just gonna keep them. I'm just gonna put them in my in my description, and you can use them to do. There are a lot. I'm not even sure which one was the one I was using at first, but I think no, 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 no. Eh. I think this is this goes with you. What you like, you're liking. But I think I'm gonna go with this one. I'm gonna go with this one for me. This one is nicer for me. Okay, we have added an even skin tone. Let's match the layers. So now for my secret trick when it comes to making the skin glow. So this really works with when your picture has highlights, good highlights, maybe your makeup artist has done a good contouring. It really works. This one doesn't have much contouring on the on the makeup. But let's see if it works. I don't know if my camera is still recording. Yeah, it's still recording. I can check. I can check if my camera is recording from the from the watch. Cool, right? Yeah. So let's do this. So what you wanna do is take the curve there and just push it up a bit. Yeah, just push it. In. Yeah. Then you go click right click on the mouse then go blending options you're gonna see this part you see underline underline layer whatever and you want to push it until you have the lines you have you want from your skin so, so that's what i was saying it works when you have like highlights on your model but this one doesn't have much highlights but i'm just gonna show you a brief how to do it so after that you just press so just press option and left click on your mouse on this pointer thing and you split it into two like that like that that's my secret trick guys that's my secret trick check this out it makes your skin glow so when i remove the effect from the background what you're gonna do is go to the lower layer select subject invert it go back to the upper layer select the mask part this white part to save few the color black you just want to remove the effect from the background yeah guys i think we did a really 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 pretty good job what do you think I think we nailed it over here. We did nail it. This is nice. Uh, so we're just gonna make this export it. I think we, we did a good, we did a really pretty good job. We did a pretty good job. So I hope you liked it. Please, guys, like and subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna be making you more content, giving you free stuff every time I could. Thank you for the support. I've seen my channel has been growing. Although I've been, I haven't make, been making any videos, it has grown a lot, and I really thank you for that. Just don't forget to put on that bell icon, a like, subscribe, leave a comment, share with others, guys. This is free stuff, which is just be appreciative. Thank you. Until we meet again. Bam.